started on something. Shall we? Yeah, I'm go what I'm doing is I've uh, cut off a uh, board that will have the clay on it. And the uh, reason for that is because I want to be able to... Uh, where's my drill? Oh, there it is. I want to be able to take it off and on and uh, work on it up a different one. I'm, I'm planning on doing a few of these things. So, let's uh, get a screw, screw started. And uh, I got several ideas. This is Todd Connor and his dad, Steve Connor, at uh, a local uh, or a mountain man rendezvous. And uh, I thought of doing something with this at some point, not right now. Um, this guy's got a great face, and uh, I love everything about it. And uh, I could literally fit it right on this board. And this Indian woman, I'm not going to do her face. Um, although it would look good. I just uh, I want to put a younger face on it. The elk teeth are what's going to be hard to do. But I think it would be interesting. Oh, there we go. Uh, and, uh, go that size head. And there, I, what I do is I measure from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin. Everything goes from there. And uh, down to there. And a little bit below that would be where her nipples would be if uh, she was nude. And uh, a head and a half would be where her collarbone would be. All right. gives me a starting point. Anyway, stuff up. All right, let's go ahead and start putting some clay on here. Now the clay is soft enough and sticky enough. I think it's going to be fine uh, without having to put anything into the board. But I think what I might do is put something in the board after I get a, a layer of clay on here and have it uh, set up a little bit. Now I probably have to speed up the camera only because uh, time constraints. Uh, I don't think YouTube allows me to put up a two or three hour video. Not that I'm saying I'm going to be that long, but... I think what I might do is just move this all up. Just a little. Put the uh, top of the head there. <clears throat> I think I will put a couple of 
screws in just to make sure this doesn't start slipping. That'll just keep the clay from moving around. I've got these uh, photographs that I took of a Crow Indian girl uh, back in the, geez, it had to be mid-2000, between about 2005 or six or, oh no, wait a minute, it was 2006 because it was the anniversary of the uh, uh, Custer's Last Stand, which happened to the right of her and up above a bluff was where the battlefield was. This was on a little bighorn. Anyway, I'll use her face as the face for this young lady that I'm getting ready to do here. shoulders uh, should be about a head and a half wide. So let's uh, mark that. I think what I'll do is mark the head measurement I'm doing so I can keep all my sculptures about the same. shoulders should be just about to the edge of the board
to back it up with a little clay on the bottom. All right, this is a good place to stop. I want to let it sit overnight, um, see how I feel about the face in the morning, and uh, looking around at eyes and stuff like that, and trying to get a little bit better Native American feel about it. And then I'll decide whether I want to uh, hair that comes streaming down over her shoulders and down across here or if I want to do braids. So till tomorrow, well actually till Monday when I pick this up. Have a great weekend everybody.